The whole concept of, of, of the bio blitz is attributed to uh, E.O. Wilson, the uh, uh, closest thing we have to a, to a father of uh, biodiversity conservation. And the whole idea is to, to focus a lot of scientific attention, very broad in scope of different, different types of scientists, and, and direct it towards one area. And for 24 hours, these, um, these scientists are, are going to try to enumerate all life that, that fits in whatever the defined area is. And that's guaranteed, almost, to, to uh, bring you a longer list of species for an area than was known prior to the bio blitz. I like it! Hungry? One of the things that I, I expect to find uh, in, in these lagoons that we don't often find in the lake are some different kinds of, of crustaceans called uh, isopods and I also expect to find far more insect life and probably a richer life of worms. Now you get into lots of different phyla when, when you're, you're talking about the different kinds of worms but we've already captured one that being the, the leech. Uh, all plankton has poor swimming ability and so, and so it's captured inside the throat here and concentrated down in this bucket. And so uh, we'll bring the bucket back and, and uh, unscrew it and, and uh, wash it out and, and see what we found. Now we have creatures. They just dive into the love. It's almost a meal. Okay. But well, there's a couple down here, but they all look like the the scuds. But you can see a variety of life uh, dotting around in there. There's some great diaphnids. There's some larger amphipods uh, swimming around here. That's good news. It was great to uh, see research and science happen in real time fashion. My students usually get publications or things on the internet that. You know, it could be a couple months, you know, after it was already created or the science was done. So to actually do the science in a real-time manner and have them able to see it, it's been a great experience. BioBlitz has, has several key components uh, that, that are essential to accomplish uh, what we want it to accomplish. And there are the scientists. I mean, they're, they're a component you can't deal without. I am the primary uh, researcher on the eukaryotes, so we're looking at all the eukaryotic plankton organisms in Yellowstone, and we're basically identifying them morphologically, and then we are extracting the DNA from them uh, so that we have a known morphological identification and a known genetic identification. There's lots of disagreement about what actually is there and what isn't there, and one of the things that's really going to help us with some of these organisms that are really hard to identify morphologically is we can hopefully genetically identify them. Um, one of the things that we're looking for is a harpactacoid copepod, which is a type of crustacean. And we have found that, and only one other person that we know of has found that so far in the park uh, over the last 100 and some years. And then there's, there's logistics people, people that have to uh, put together the, the, uh, uh, the transportation and, and everything associated with it, the specimens, well, on and on. And, and the third component are citizen scientists, and they're, uh, they're just really important. Meeting the scientists who are doing the actual research was phenomenal, and being able to be with them in the field, conducting research, and then coming back, and knowing that the information that we collected and the information that we are doing is actually going to be used and be applicable in the scientific community um, was probably the most important part for me. Well, they were just at Yellowstone, collecting out of the lake, as you know, and so they've identified those organisms morphologically down there in the park. Now we've brought them back to the lab here at MSU, and we're now extracting the DNA. So once we extract the DNA, we'll run them through a polymerase chain reaction, uh, called a PCR for short, and that amplifies lots and lots of copies of the gene that we want to use of, to actually identify that organism genetically. And that's the whole point, is, is knowing what diversity uh, you're living around, uh, because you cannot conserve what you don't know is there. <laughs>